Hello again, guys. It is I, Freeze 700. We are back with some Halo lore. Ooh. So, what the fuck is a rumble drug? Or, plural, rumble drugs. So, this is kind of old Halo lore. So, we're going to be reaching back, not into the Covenant War, but actually before that. So, to get to the history of rumble drugs, you have to go into the war between the Insurrectionists and the UNSC. So... During the war, more or less the end of the wars between the UNSC and the Insurrectionists, the Insurrectionists, if you don't know, were just a bunch of humans who didn't like being bossed around by colonies way far away from them. So they tried to pull in America and just separate and become their own nation. Well, that didn't really work out because the UNSC is much bigger. Also, the UNSC portrayed them as terrorists, which is much like what England did to the Revolutionary War Fighters. But, besides American history, when it comes to the insurrectionists, they did a lot of things. They would bomb airports, they would bomb civilian centers, they would do whatever they could to really get back at the UNSC. Well, the UNSC realized that this fight was going to be very bloody. Very, very scary, too, is that they're actually on the stalemate. They're not actually winning. So, what they did was they decided to do the Orion Project. And the Orion Project was to make Spartan Ones. That didn't work out. No matter how many enhancement drugs they put into a person, it just didn't work. Now, you may say, oh, Freezer 700, is that a rumble drug? Nope. Not yet. We're not there yet. So, Spartan 2 program came around. And the Spartan 2s were fucking amazing at destroying the insurrectionists. This is where the rumble drugs come in. So, the insurrectionists realized that these Spartans could literally just flip up a warthog. These Spartans could flip a scorpion tank. These Spartans were fast. These Spartans acted as though they could ignore pain. So, hey, why don't we just put our own soldiers with those drugs? They don't need to wear power armor. We just make them super strong, right? Right. So that's what they do is they use the drug called the rumble drug. Now, it's kind of different depending who makes it. So the UNSC version is a cocktail. So the UNSC did replicate it, but they didn't use it on their troops openly. Instead, it was a cocktail, and it was just a mix mash of a bunch of drugs. But the insurrectionists, they somehow made it just one serum. It didn't need to be mixed with a few other drugs to make it effective. Now, it was used on two separate instances. In both instances, the users were able to cause some great destruction, but they weren't causing destruction against Spartans. They actually never really used this drug against a Spartan per se. They tried to. Didn't really work out, even though that's the original purpose of the drug. By this point, the insurrection is lost. The Halo Covenant War immediately started. So the Rumble drug was synthesized by the UNSC. They could make it, but they just didn't want to use it. And you may think, well, why the fuck would they not want to use it? A drug that makes you as good as a Spartan? Who the fuck wouldn't want to do it? Well, let's talk about the physiology of the drug. Let's talk about how it works. So, what is it exactly? Now, the UNSC version, we actually know a little bit about what was used to make it. So, the rumble drug is a derivative of phenylcyclohexypiperidine. Holy fuck, that is hard to read. And essentially what we would know that as, because if I said that to you, oh, you know, phenylcyclohexylpiperidine, you would sit there and go, okay, Cool, it's, it's a derivative of that drug. What the fuck does that drug do? Well, here's what that drug was. Back in the 1950s, we used to use this drug. Oh yeah, this was used to be a anesthetist. So the anesthesiologist would give this to you to knock you out. But the issue is, is that it wasn't effective because it would cause you a lot of hallucinations, severe hallucinations. We're talking out of body experiences. So you'd almost see yourself getting the surgery performed on you. But that's not where the issues end. It caused a lot of long-term memory issues. It caused a lot of brain chemistry fuck-ups. It was just a nasty drug in general. You usually don't want to put it on somebody's brain. Because, yeah, it'll work. It'll get rid of any pain they could ever feel. It'll get rid of their real state of mind, too. It'll drive them insane. So that's a big reason why we don't use it anymore. So when someone says phenylcyclohexylpipyridine... That is exactly what they mean. They mean this crazy fucking drug that we do not use since the 50s. And now here we are, 2,500, 
and 20 something and we're making a drug based off of this whole thing well you may think all right well this drug must have some severe mental effects and you are absolutely right this drug will severely make the user insane this is why a lot of the insurrectionists once they got this drug were more self-destructive than they were just destructive in general now let's go on to the next one it's also an artificial synthetic adrenaline that's cool so that means that you're piped up on adrenaline you feel like you have an infinite amount of energy you feel like you could run 24 miles right now and then come back home and just do 60 push-ups afterwards fuck yeah you are loaded with adrenaline energy then it has a rapid coagulant this is the last part of the cocktail now the rapid coagulant means that essentially if i stab you you're not going to gush out blood instead just a small splat is going to hit the floor and you're done bleeding that is it. Ta-da, the show's over. You're done bleeding. Well, these all mixed together into one cocktail, yeah, it, it would be pretty impressive. Because essentially what this does is by giving you the adrenaline, it gives you enough energy for you to just do anything that you need to. There's a few survival instances in today's world, today, in reality, not in Halo, where a hitchhiker who was hiking around through the Grand Canyon, a giant boulder fell on him. The boulder was easily around 500 pounds. This guy is lean. Well, being souped up on adrenaline, he was actually able to use all of his muscle mass to push the boulder off of him. But this comes as severe negative effect, which is all around pain because all of his muscles just contracted so hard that they just ripped from having to do this maneuver. Now, in Halo, this rumble drug is able to simulate that. So now you can take just your average Joe. He sits at a desk. He doesn't do fucking anything. He just eats Subway. He eats McDonald's, whatever. And then you give him this drug. All of a sudden, he's able to flip your car over for no reason. Whoa, dude, you're fucking strong. And because he's got that fennel, blah, 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 blah. We're not going to repeat the whole fucking name. He's able to ignore the pain. Oh, man, now this is scary. So now you're souped up on energy. That means that you're able to use your body efficiently, 100% efficiency with zero breaks because this basically gets rid of all the safety measures. What causes your muscles to quiver and stop are no longer happening anymore. So now you could just grab a massive car, flip it over, and then go, whew, that was easy. Then you have the hypercoagulant, and the coagulant is going to make it where if anyone shoots you, it's just going to leave a hole in you. That's it. No splatter, no bleeding out. No, you're just going to keep trudging through it. You're not going to feel it. And you're still going to have enough energy to break the motherfucker's spine in half, whoever shot you. So this drug is super crazy effective. And as far as the use in the lore series, we've only seen it two books, three books. We haven't really seen much of it. I would love to see more of it. Now, as far as its use, how often was it used? We only know of three instances. The insurrectionist, where they would take the drug, and the drug is so powerful that it basically starts ripping your body apart on the inside before you can actually be effective and destroy shit. But hey, at least they were able to flip a car or two before they died within like the next 20 minutes. And the Midnight Heart of Mythlonia. I am not sure if I pronounced that right. It's been a while since I've read that one. But essentially what happens is an ODST who's really big, really strong, he's around like six foot, seven foot, he's really big. And he's obviously a bodybuilder. Well, he takes the rumble drug. And you want to know how strong that motherfucker was? That motherfucker was so strong that he actually bitch slapped an elite. And you know what happened to that elite? That elite actually dropped to both of his knees. Not one, both of his knees, hands down on the floor bleeding out of his jaws he was fucking bitch slapped that fucking hard dude the elites are as strong as spartans and yet this dude bitch slapped them that hard oh man these rumble drugs are capable of some fascinating feats nonetheless the only issue is that they do kill the user within an hour sometimes less so has why does the unsc make it if they don't use it well, it's simple. The UNSC actually cares about its people. And in the war against the Covenant, being able to kill 20 or 30 elites is cool. It's impressive. It's like, yeah, dude, Hall of Fame for you. Awesome. But the issue is, is that they have five times more elites than they do, than humanity does have humans. 
So by you killing 30 elites, yeah, it's cool for you. But more realistically, everyone else isn't going to kill 30 elites. Everyone's going to get their ass fucking kicked. Especially since the elites are up to par and greater than humans on every aspect. So if every human charged at the elites and just started beating their asses, the elites are disciplined enough and martially prowess enough to just simply roundhouse kick them all, slice all their heads off so that way they don't have to shoot you in the legs and go, oh shit, he's still coming. No, no, no. They're just going to be smart enough to go, you know what, aim for the head, I'm done with this shit, I don't want this guy to keep charging at me like a random crazed up retard that he is. Now besides that though, the ODST who did take this drug, we did see that he was suffering some out of body experiences. I kind of didn't like how straightforward thinking he was, but at the same time he was hallucinating while he was fighting. So he would randomly start thinking or seeing himself falling into a pile of snow as a kid and making a little angel. That's cute and all, but that's actually very realistic because it's got that drug that does cause hallucinations. Now, realistically, I think he would have suffered more hallucinations than that. I think he would have been seeing more extra enemies than what were actually there. He may have actually seen a few species of Covenant that don't actually exist. I think that would have been cool to see. But besides that, that is the Rumble Drug, guys. I hope you guys learned something. You guys just learned the history of it. You guys just learned the effects of it. You guys learned what makes up the drug in the UNSC version. And, well... You learned what could happen if someone actually takes this drug and some cool-ass stories that can come out of it. Besides that, this has been Freezer 700. I'm out. See you guys next time. Comment down below what you guys think. I hope you guys enjoyed. And don't forget, when you click the subscribe button, please click the bell icon so that way you actually get notifications. YouTube is stupid. I don't make these rules. I just follow them. See you guys next time.